Okay, hi. I am back filming in the noisiest part of my house because for me personally, I prefer not learning from my mistakes. So I wanted to do just a quick video to show you guys how I turned this negative scan into this. In my last experiment video, I manipulated the negatives on the scanner, but this time I'm going to print the scans first and then manipulate the print. I already tried this out, so today we're just gonna be playing around with it some more. I'm going to be using this print I have of summer. <laughs> with that being said, now I'm going to bring you guys over to my scanner and I'll show you the different methods I use of scanning. Okay, I'm gonna get all this stuff off the top. I just opened up Epson Scan 2, which is the scanning software that comes with my scanner. These are all the settings that I use. All right, now I want the final piece to be black and white, but I prefer to scan in color. So I have more custom, custom mobility. Cust so <laughs> in the previous scan that I did before, I used some of these pressed flowers that I have on hand. And I was just moving them with the scan. But yeah, you can literally put anything you want on the scanner bed. The light's gonna come down, and as the light's coming down, I'm going to move the image with it. So yeah, we're just gonna try multiple methods. It's so noisy, it's so noisy. That's really hard to look at. I'm going to open the last two scans with Photoshop. I think I favor this one more, obviously minus this part, but um, I'll work on them in order. So like I mentioned earlier, I'd prefer this to be in black and white. So um, I'm going to open adjustments and then I'm gonna choose black and white. So now I'm going to work on my curves because I want to focus on correcting the actual image now. Okay, so full credit goes to Andre Yazizov on TikTok. He is a graphic designer and I've been really, really obsessed with his editing style. I've been using his tutorial on how he makes like old vintage looking posters and I've just been applying it to like these kinds of things and I just love how it looks so full credit goes to him I'll link his TikTok down below and his Instagram and all that
That's the look that I'm going for. Now I'm going to crop it. My laptop's being really slow right now, so that's really good for me. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. So this is gonna be my final image. And then the cool part is that I can copy all the settings, like the black and white, the wrinkled paper texture, the noise, and then the curves. I can copy that directly from here and then paste it into this one. I feel like this is kind of cool in its own way, but it's not my style. It, it looks dorky. So what I'm gonna do is just crop it out. I'm still using the 5-7 ratio 